Hello, you're right, and I hope you and your families are well. Uh, as many of you already know, you're going to have some choices over what subjects you study in Year 9. And we'd normally have an assembly to explain this to you. But as that's not possible, um, I'm making this short video to talk to you about what you need to do and when you need to do it. It's really important that you watch this video with your parent or carer before you make your option choices on the online form. So please make sure that you watch it together with them and they can help you to decide which options you're going to choose. OK, so I'm going to run through this PowerPoint. You can pause the video any time and of course you can rewatch it if you want to. And I hope by the end of it, you'll have a really clear picture of what you need to do and when you need to do it. So you are Woody Explorers and you're two years into your Woody journey. Next year, in year nine, you are going to start the process of deciding upon your GCSE options. We want you to be ready for this by giving you the time to experience the new subjects that you will study in year 10. In order to do that, we need to find some space on your timetable. As you know, you currently have 25 hours per week of lessons. And at the moment, it's made up four hours of maths and English and science together with four hours of humanities, two hours of French, ADT and PE, and then one hour each in computing, drama and music. This is going to change a little bit. It'll be slightly different in year nine. You will still have your core subjects of English, maths and science for four hours. Your humanities, however, is going to be split up. So you are going to have two hours of geography, two hours of history and one hour of RE. You can see that this comes to five hours, whereas in year eight, you only studied for four hours. So we've got to find an hour in the week for you. You'll continue with your two hours of French, ADT and PE. But instead of an hour each for computing, drama and music, you need to choose two of these subjects to carry on with for your options. So how are you going to choose which two subjects out of these three you should continue with? So how do you choose your subjects? Some really good reasons to choose your subjects are because you really enjoy it, because you're really good at it, or because it's something that you might want to do for GCSE. Some not great reasons for choosing a subject are because your friends are doing it, or because you really like the teacher. And the reason why they're not great reasons is because you may not be in the same group as your friends, and also that you may have a different teacher. It's also true that your subjects will be with you for the rest of your lives. So the really good reasons for choosing it are because you enjoy it, you're good at it, or you might want to do it for GCSE. So let's have a little more detail about each of those subjects. We're going to start with computing. This is the option for you if you really enjoy problem solving and want to know more about how computers work. If you continue with computing in year nine, you're going to learn about some programming techniques and the impact computing has on society and the workplace. If you take computing in year nine, it could lead to key stage four or key stage five options in computing or IT. And careers such as web developer, game designer, software architect, IT consultant. Why should you choose drama? This is the option for you if you enjoy putting yourself into somebody else's shoes, creating stories, building on other people's ideas and performing. If you continue with drama in Year 9, you're going to learn about devising your own performances and you're going to learn about other famous practitioners and directors. Year 9 drama could lead to key stage 4 or 5 options of drama and theatre studies and careers such as the entertainment industry, business, consultancy, teaching, media and marketing. 
why should you choose music? This is the option for you if you love being creative, expressing yourself and performing on your own or with others. If you continue with music in year nine, you're going to learn about how to rehearse as a band for a gig, how to record in the studio and how to compose and improvise. Year nine music can lead to key stage four and five options such as GCSE music, BTEC music and A-level music. And careers such as performer, teacher, songwriter, recording engineer, manager, promoter, social media or PR. Today, a letter has been sent to your parents by email and it's in that letter is a link to this presentation and to the online form that you need to complete. Please make sure you have a really good think about which two subjects you'd like to continue with before making your decision. Once you've made your decision, you need to let us know by completing the online form. You can find the link to the form in the letter and in the email that I'm sending to pupils. You can only submit your form once, so please think carefully before completing the form. The deadline for completing the form is next Wednesday, the 20th of May. So long as you meet this, we can guarantee you will get your first choice and we'll do our very best to ensure you get your second choice as well. If for any reason this isn't possible, we will call you and speak to you straight after the half term break. So now you have all the information you need to help you to make your decision about which two subjects from drama, computing and music you want to continue with in year nine. Please make sure you discuss this choice before you fill in the online form. If you have any questions or problems, please email Miss McCarthy directly on her email address, which is on the screen and is also in the letter. Thanks for listening and happy decision making.